Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to find the derivative of the function x to the power of x. It's not so easy to find this derivative because we are not allowed to apply the standard rules for something like x to the power of 3. We know how to differentiate this, but we are not allowed to apply this rule here because here our exponent is a number and here our exponent is our variable itself. So we are not allowed to use this rule. And the same with something like 3 to the power of x. We know how to differentiate this, but here the base is a number and here our base is the variable itself. So these rules cannot be applied here. We have to find a different way to differentiate this. Um, before we differentiate, I want to find a different way of writing this expression so that it gets easier to find the derivative. And usually what you can do is write this expression as an exponential function. So I want to write this function with base e. I won't touch the exponent at the beginning, so I write this in parentheses and take my x and write it out here. But I want to change the base. I don't want to work with base x. I would prefer to work with base e, because differentiating exponential functions is pretty easy. But of course, I'm not just allowed to change this function. <laughs> um, so everything I do, I have to reverse it immediately again. So if I apply the exponential function, I have to reverse it by applying the inverse function. And the inverse function to the exponential function is the logarithm, so ln. And in my ln, I'm going to write the, the old base, so the x. And to really see that we didn't change our function, the exponential function and the logarithm cancel each other out and only x will be left, what we had here. So we didn't really change it. We just found another way to write our function. Okay, now before we differentiate this expression, maybe we get rid of these parentheses here to make it a little bit more easy. So we are allowed to just uh, multiply these two exponents. So we keep our base e and then we multiply the exponents. We have ln of x times x. And now our function is perfectly prepared to be differentiated. We don't have to differentiate this version here. We changed it to this one. So we take this expression now and try to find f prime of x. How can we do that? We have e to the power of this thing here. So we have a function inside our exponential function. So we have an inner function, our green inner function, and we have our orange outer function. And we can use the chain rule to find the derivative here. The chain rule says that if you have an inner and an outer function, you take the derivative of your inner function, so I call it green prime, we have to differentiate this green part, and then you multiply it by the derivative of your outer function. So we have to find the derivative of our orange function then. Let's start with our inner function. So we take this green thing, I call it i of x for inner function, and we want to find the derivative of this. So I wrote it down here. How can we find i prime of x now? Well, we have a product. In the first part, we have something with x. In the second part, we have something with x. So we have to use the product rule here to find the derivative. For the product rule, I call my first part u. You can call it whatever you want to, but give it a name. And our second part, I call it v. And then the product rule says you find the derivative by making u prime times v 
plus u times v prime. So let's write the things down. Our u is ln of x and we need u prime for the rule here. So if I differentiate this, um, it's just 1 over x. My v is just my x, so I want to differentiate this as well. The rule here is that the x will vanish and only the number in front of my x will stay. Uh, we don't have a number here, it's a 1, so 1 is my derivative. Let's fill everything in here now. u prime is 1 over x times v is just my x plus my u was ln of x and I multiplied by v prime which was just 1. Okay. Um, here I can cancel the x out, so I only have 1 left, then I have the plus and ln of x times 1 is just ln of x. Okay, so I have my derivative now of my inner function. I take this result, go back to my chain rule where I needed this inner derivative. I found it now, it is 1 plus ln of x. X. I have to write it in parentheses because this whole thing now has to be multiplied by the outer derivative. So now I don't take a look at my inner function anymore, but I take a look at my outer function. And my outer function is e to the x. So I want to differentiate it, but the nice thing about the exponential function is that it stays the same, so I don't have to change anything, which is perfect. So I just take my exponential function here and don't change anything. I don't touch the inner function at all, so I write everything down as it is and don't change anything. Okay, inner derivative times outer derivative. And now we can make it a little bit nicer here because here, this expression, do you know what this is? Do you remember e to the power of ln of x times x? Um, so either you can see immediately that this is x to the power of x from the beginning, or if not, we just reverse all the steps now to see it step by step. So we leave the beginning as it is. We don't have to change anything here. But here we have this product in our exponent, so we can write this in parentheses, take the first part of, the, um, of this thing, so e to the power of ln of x, and then take the second part of the product and write it out of these parentheses here. And now we are almost done. We still take the part here as it is. But now inside here, the e and the ln cancel each other out as inverse functions. And only the x is left, so we have x to the power of x, so we can write it like this. And this is our derivative of x to the power of x. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!